So guys, welcome back to Stranded Deep. It's been way too long since we've last played this game, and it's not been for any other reason aside from the fact that there's been a massive lack of content. Now, for those that don't know why, I'm going to give you all a brief history lesson on what's been going on. So as you can see on the screen right now, 20th of September 2018, it says, We're super excited to announce that Telltale Publish is bringing Stranded Deep to console on October 9th. Check out our trailer below, pre-orders are available now. Everything seems to be going in the right direction for Stranded Deep. They have a publisher in Telltale and everything looks set for the release date of October 9th for their game to be published on consoles. Now I'm a little bit hazy on the date, so I don't know exactly when the news broke, but it says as of their next tweet, the 22nd of September, we're actively gathering info in light of recent announcements from Telltale. From our side, there's been a lot of hard work from everyone involved. We'll be doing absolutely everything we can to ensure that the release of success of Stranded Deep on consoles. Now, for those that don't know why they released a statement saying this, just two days after they looked like they had a publisher for their game for consoles, Telltale Games' studio basically closed. So then another four days pass, and as you can imagine, I think it was panic stations for everyone because they were left in limbo with what happened with Telltale. Then we move up to the 8th of October 2018, where they release a quick update explaining that Stranded Deep has been pulled from both PlayStation and Xbox stores. A little bit more time passes, which takes us to the 15th of October 2018, and they released a brand new experimental build, which was 0.50, where they introduced Split Screen Cooperative. Now at this point, I won't be the only one in saying things looked a little bit more exciting than they had in recent weeks because they introduced the Split Screen Co-op. And hopefully that was then a platform to go on to multiplayer, which everybody is crying out for in this game right now. So then from the 15th of October all the way through to the 27th of November, there really wasn't much. There was a few developer notes and then there was patch notes. But they did release a stable build, 0.51, which everybody was able to play, which did have the split screen co-op and a new third person mode. So then we push the timeline to the 20th of February 2019 and you can definitely see there was efforts made to introduce content to the game and little things added while they tried to sort the mess out with Telltale. On the same day that they introduced the brand new experimental build, the devs also added another tweet saying the devs are still committed to releasing Stranded Deep on console. Hopefully we have some good news soon and we can get things moving again. Things started to look up a little bit for them. Moving on another three months from there, they said, good news. We have successfully retrieved the console publishing rights for Stranded Deep. Now that we have the rights back, we will be moving full steam ahead to bring Stranded Deep to consoles. We're teaming up with a smaller publisher to co-publish the game on PS4 and Xbox One, and we'll have more news in the coming weeks. For PC, our goal is to leave early access towards the end of the year, so we're working on implementing any new features and incorporating the new features and content from the console development. We'll keep everyone posted as we have more news. And then on the 31st of July, we see another brand new experimental build, 0.54, with female characters, shipwrecks, animals, game modes, skills, and heaps more. And that's where the timeline takes us today. So if anybody has been wondering what's going on, hopefully that brings you guys up to speed and where we are right now. Okay, here we go. We're back in Stranded Deep. Actually feels really nice being back in the game too. Now, what I'm trying to do... Oh, there we go. There's our old friend. What kind of shark was that? I've got to go over again which ones they've added. So it's goblin shark, the whale shark, the hammerhead. They've added a giant group of fish and a turtle. So we need to keep our eyes open for all that good stuff. Oh, that's a hammerhead. Oh, I really want to... You know what I'm going to do? Just for the sake of looking at it. Oh, look how cool he looks. Oh, that looks amazing. All right, let me get back in. I mean, oh, God, what have I done? Oh, no. Paddle. Oh, what the? What have I just done? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm playing the female character. And if you guys didn't know, let me show you this, just in case anybody hasn't played the game in a while. You can go, like, full third-person mode now. Now, I don't know how this is going to look. It looks a little bit stiff, <laughs> like, in terms of the way the character moves and stuff, but... <laughs> I mean, it's something. They're getting there. Let me go back to first person, though. Oh, we hang over the side now. Oh, I really like that. I don't know if you guys remember, but we used to kind of paddle, like, in the middle of the raft. It's cool that we're hanging over the side now. I did mention that back when we were playing the game quite often. It would be nice to kind of just hang over the side, and then you have that threat of the sharks or, you know, the ocean just being right there. All right, let's get to this island. Let's see what else we've got that's different. Basically, what I'm trying to do here is refresh myself with the game. And for you guys, too, as I always say, whenever we do these update episodes, 
We're kind of experiencing it together. All right, let me grab you onto the island. I'm looking out for new plants. Any kind of new resources or anything? What was actually in this? I didn't actually see. So we got rations, compass, and a bandage. That's just the anchor, isn't it? I really want to spend some time on the ocean, though, to look at the new stuff. So we've just seen the hammerhead. If I'm not mistaken, we have the whale shark, goblin shark, the giant grouper, and the turtle, I think it was. So we'll have to keep our eyes open for them. I don't know if there's anything else that's been added. I guess we'll see. All right, let's take a look around. Oh, we've got a container on this one. Very rarely used to see those. Oh, also, we do have to keep our eyes open for the Easter eggs as well. So any island that we visit now could potentially have one of the Easter eggs. So it could be Wally, it could be the parcel, or it could also be the diver's slate. And who knows, maybe they've had something else too. Right, let me take a look at how we're doing. Oh, they've added a new watch since I last played. This all looks different to me. So everything that I'm looking at right now, I've never played the game while it's been like this before. So we've got health, food, water, SPF, I'm guessing is the sun. Yeah, I don't think I'm having enough protection from the sun. I think it's still getting through. Okay, that's interesting. What else happens, though, if we click? Oh, there we go. Okay, so there's the new skills. Hunting, cooking, harvesting, physical, and craftsmanship. And you can see behind the words as well. You've got, like, the blocks, which indicates how far across you are on that skill. Status. Oh, we can actually go back now with right-click, too. Okay, that's nice. All right, cool. So, some nice changes to the game. we got some wood. What's this? we got some corrugated scrap. I can never remember. This is aloe. I can never remember the name of the plants. Oh, this was changed as well, wasn't it? They're no longer tarps anymore. It's all cloth. And if I remember right, cloth is super, super useful. I've just grabbed a couple of rocks. I've made myself a stone tool. And now I'm just going around the island looking for these young palm trees so I can grab the leaves and I can make some lashing with it. I want to see what this new tool belt is. This called a yucca plant? Yeah, it's a yucca plant. God, I have to remember everything again. It's literally been such a long time since I played Stranded Deep. I was kind of hoping that they would continue development on the game. I really didn't want to see it abandoned. I still don't. I hope they still continue to bring updates to the game thick and fast. So they get that player base back up. Because it really is a fantastic game. And it's got such potential. I know a lot of you guys do enjoy it too. Right, that should be plenty of the fibrous leaves that we have. So we can make... Let's make two of the lashing stupidly loud. That absolutely needs turning down in the game. Right, so if we come over this side, I still haven't looted any of this yet either. If we go to Stone Tool, we've seen all of this. None of it's new. Oh, the fishing rod. I totally forgot about that too. Definitely need to make one of those. Oh, there's a brand new fish in the game as well, so it makes all the more sense now to make that thing. Bows. What else we got? I don't think there's anything new in terms of that stuff. What's this one? Oh, this is it. Okay, tool belt. So it's just a little bit of lashing with... What is that blue thing? Is it just like the cloth? Right, so new slots unlocked. What does that mean? Is that these at the bottom? So I've got one slot unlocked there at the bottom. The rest are all padlocked. What else was this? Oh, tool belt pouch. There we go. So we actually do have the cloth so let me pick this up we go back to this and then make the pouch so is that just unlocked another slot now oh there we go okay so we've got no locks down is this hotkeys is that what it is let me just grab this rock let me go to that press one old one there we go so is that now assigned to slot number one if i press that and we press one on the keypad there we go so they've added like a hotkey function. It's a small addition, but it's definitely going to make a difference in the game. Yep, we need to cool down. I think this is another new addition to the game, the container shelf. And if I'm not mistaken, I think I read that you can place this on rafts. I'm going to have to check that, but I'm fairly sure that I have read that before. So again, that's another thing that we're going to have to get to. Right, let me see. I wanted to see if there was like any other tools that we can make that I might have missed. Just a spit. Craftsmanship level up. Is that just because I made the spear? And the spear looks different too. Can't really explain why. So if we press F. Oh, look at that. Now I've got one block on the craftsmanship. Oh. What kind of shark was that? I'm trying to spot new things just under the surface, but I don't think I've come across anything that we haven't already seen yet. What's this one? Is this the hammerhead? 
I really like the addition of that. That's so cool. It did get a little bit boring just seeing the tiger shark like over and over and over again. Even though like the tiger shark in real life, they're no joke. They're actually really cool as well. But like a little bit of variety in a game like this, it goes a long way. You're on your own. I mean, I'm talking to you guys right now, but the majority of people playing this, you're going to be on your own, like trying to survive. So a little bit of variety goes a long way. I do want to see some of the other stuff though, like the turtles and the new fish and things. Right, let's get to the uh, let's get to the container. See what's inside. If there's nothing in there, then I'm just gonna try and loot the boats real quick. Okay, so there was nothing in the container. I did see. Oh look, there's another one. They've added since I last played Nemo to the game. So <laughs> Nemo is actually in Stranded Deep. Right, I should have put the sea anchor down, but I should be able to get to it. Right, what we got? Show me the good stuff. Anything new? Some engine parts, some more engine parts, corrugated scrap. Sometimes his box is up top too. One thing this game does so well is the lighting. Look at that. That's so cool. Just to look out into the ocean like that. It's getting dark, which is bad for me, but for you guys at home, look how pretty that looks. I don't remember there being a climb animation, which is super useful now. Look at that. So those bigger islands where I really, really struggled to climb those huge rocks when I was originally looking for Wally or Wilson in Stranded Deep, it's going to be so much easier now. All right, there is one more shipwreck which we're going to go to, and then we're going to make our way back to the island. I think I'm going to sleep just so I can change time. Okay, what did we find? We got this one, this one, and this one. Anything good in them? Oh, oh, the spyglass. Wait, spyglass underscore name. All right, let's see how they work. Okay, a little bit of a transition. Can we zoom with them? Ah, there we go. Hold left click, and that's how you zoom in. I've been asking for these for I don't know how long. It's just going to be so much more useful. Say you take your raft out and you want to do a little bit of exploration to find supplies. While you're on your raft, you can just look in a general direction, zoom in, and decide whether or not the island's worth your time. Such a nice idea, and I really like the design of them too. They look very, very old. Okay, so we've just increased our harvesting. So is that just going to upgrade every single time then? Every single time we like knock a couple of trees down? Yep. So are we at level two with that? Yep. Okay, that time it didn't actually level up. Let me try one more. What about a different tree? One, two, three, four. So maybe it's just over time then. Right click to pin. Pinned crafting combo. Oh, I like that. So you can kind of see the recipe up there now as well. So you don't have to have this open. Let me close that down. Does it get rid of it once you, you have it? So if we go to quick craft, kindling, and there we go. It does get rid of it. That's a really nice touch. Cool. Right, let me grab this. Light this fire up, and then we should be good to go. This was always the problem that I had in Stranded Deep. I could find everything else with relative ease. It was the rocks that always threw me off. Need to find water. I'm working on it. Got a couple of coconuts that I can use for now. Look, there's just once you kind of gather these small ones off the islands, you have to use the picks to break them down, but there was never too many of those nodes. I had to travel so far to find them. I mean, it's not a big deal, and I'm not complaining. It was just more of an observation. It would be nice to have more ways, like break up these rocks as well, maybe? I don't know if that's possible. And there we go. We've made a campfire. We've got some food going. We've got a shelter up and running just behind us. Got a little bit of supplies. Chop down some trees for some more wood too. We're golden. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a quick bite to eat, then I'm going to sleep. I'll be back with you guys once it's morning. Days survived. One. They've added like a squishy animation to the coconuts and i don't know if i like it just watch how the coconut reacts once i hit it you see that it, it reminds me of like crash bandicoot when you grab the apples or whatever it is that you grab i don't know if it fits for stranded deep how much does that give us all right we're okay for now i still need to find more water but we're all right to do a little bit of exploration i don't think i have any more leaves on this island so i may have to switch to another one what did that just say let me put you back on there. Hold E to ride along. So what does this do? Is it just for 
when the ocean current is taking you in a particular way. I can't really see any benefit to this. I mean, we'll find out, but I'm interested to know what that does. Right, let me grab this. We're going to head to that island over there because I need more materials. I want to find one of those buoy bars so I can make a fishing rod. We actually don't need to leave for that other island. What are you? Are you the hammerhead? Let me see if I can get another look at you. That noise, that menacing sound when you can hear them under the water like that is so cool. Right, what do we got? We got this. Look, I've got some there that I can smack. I just don't want to get destroyed by that thing. There we go. We're in. Oh, it's still as terrifying as it ever was. Okay, so it turns out we do need to move to a different island. I've exhausted the one we've started on of the leaves that we need in order to make the lashing with. So, And at the same time, I get to keep an eye on the ocean for the different sharks. That was a hammerhead, wasn't it? I think it was. The hammerhead has like a really sharp dorsal fin. It's the best way I can describe it. Right, I'm going to keep going. If I come across anything, I'll bring you guys back. Okay, we made it to the island. I'm just trying to go around and harvest as many of these fibrous leaves as I possibly can. If you're wondering why I'm trying to make the fishing rod, I want to know if you can capture the new fish. If I'm not mistaken, a grouper is a pretty big fish. So it'd be really cool to see if there's like any stresses or strains on the actual fishing rod. Or even if it can break. Okay, yeah, I think we have enough for three lashing. <laughs> Definitely got enough for three lashing. One, two. And then drag this one out. I also did pick up two more planks. So I can't remember what it was that I wanted the three of them for. There we go. The container shelf is what I needed the uh, plank scraps for. Now, once I place it down, can I pick it back up again? I mean, even if we can't, at least we get to look at it. And this apparently can go on rafts too. You know, access it? Is it just literally for placing stuff on? We put a coconut on there. Is that going <laughs> to... That does not look safe. Is that what you're supposed to do? Just put it on there like that? That's so weird seeing the female character's shadow. It does give me an idea, though, that I thought of a while back while playing Stranded Deep. If you do play a character for long enough, like, it would be really, really cool if you could see, like, your character being malnourished and, like, lose weight, be really skinny because we're living off, like, a very specific diet and stuff and, like, maybe their hair grows and things or... You know, like maybe see scars on the skin. I don't know how hard that would be to implement, but I don't know. I just thought it'd be a really nice touch to the game. Something unique. They survived too. Again, I really love that. I think it's a nice touch. Right, let me grab a quick bite to eat because no doubt, yeah, my character's not doing so good. I think I still have a couple of rations in here. Let's just grab them both. And one. And that's another thing that I'm not going to get used to with the female character. Now, listen to this so used to hearing the mail it's it's weird it's like there's someone else on the island with me which by the way i cannot wait for this game to have multiplayer it's gonna be so good let me see if i still remember how to do this let me go out a little bit so we can get some depth and then there we go now i think to reel it back in i just hold left click oh there we go we got a bite we got a bite oh something's definitely on almost instantly as well there we go. Right, you want to release the tension. Let it swim back out. Let it tire itself. Come on in. <gasps> oh, no, no. Give it a little bit of slack. What is that? It's like yellow and red. What was it? Caught a medium fish. An archer. <laughs> Why does it look so broken? What's wrong with you, fish? Let me put you there. Right, you're not what I'm after, though. So we're still on the hunt for a group of fish. We're fishing from the life raft. I'm a genius. Group of fish, you may as well just give up now. Okay, we've got to reel it in. Slowly bring it in. Oh, this one's not putting up as much as a fight. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's it doing? Okay, that's weird. I'm trying to reel it in and it's going back out again. Like even when I'm trying to put force against it. Oh, release it, release it. I bet this thing is going to be insanely small, isn't it? Oh, yeah, couldn't even see it. Caught a small fish. I knew it. Where is it? This thing? A sardine? You know what I'm going to do? A disrespect? Get out of my raft. What is that? Oh, is that the turtle? Oh, no. Okay, I'm not really too bothered. I want to see this.
Okay, that's really cool. There we go. We got a fire going. Where's my knife? There's a stupid fish. There it is. Let's get this one going. I may as well eat them. Oh, listen. Oh, she didn't do it the second time. She has a voice line like the uh, when when the male character says that's gross. I like that. Right, let's attach that one. Wonder if it's just for these. Attach. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, that makes a, a million times more sense than what I was trying to do. Throw a damn coconut on the thing. <laughs> right, let me grab another one. Container shelf. Oh, the, the clue is actually in the name of it as well, isn't it? I wonder how many of you guys got super annoyed at me for that. <laughs> let me throw that in there. Oh, look at that. Oh, I wonder if you can stack them. Like, you know, on top of each other. That'd be cool. Very organized. I do like this a lot. This would have been good when I made that kind of brick house. When I was stacking all my uh, containers up together. That would have fit really well. But I do like how you can put these, though, on rafts now. Because with these being on rafts, you can do, like, a big loot run and come back with a load of crap or whatever you need. What the hell is that? Is that like a sea cucumber or something? It's the weirdest looking thing I've seen in my life. I want to try and sign something. I want to know if these spyglass, or the spyglass item, or the binoculars, they can work underwater, so... Let me grab them. Here we go. And... They do. They definitely do. So we can kind of spot things like the shipwrecks and stuff with these things. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, is that the grouper fish? Oh! Look at this guy. Giant grouper. Get to the surface. Okay, cool. There's the turtle. There's the grouper fish. All right, I'm going to smack the crap out of this thing. I want to know if we can eat him. Can we eat you? Oh my god, we can! Look at him! Floated to the surface. Day survived three. And on day three, we got ourselves a giant grouper. Look at the size of this beast. Okay, I want you guys to actually see the scale of this fish. So, this is a coconut without its shell on the top of it. This is the buoy ball. This thing is pretty big. Look at the size of this thing to this stupid fish. <laughs> my god. That's amazing. Wait, so I wonder if we can get any materials from it then. Let me just get rid of that. Where's the knife? Skin it. She gonna say the line? Gross. There we go. I like that. Sounds cool. Right, so we got one piece of meat from it. Oh, a piece of fish. What about again? Is it like the shark? Two? Did a little bit of a dance and then it disappeared. So we get two medium meat servings from that guy. The hell is that? Is that a snake? Look at it. Can I smack you? Oh, I don't feel so good. Did that poison us? Oh, crap. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, we're not doing so good. Are you just a reef shark? Look at that little guy. It's so nice seeing so much life now in Stranded Deep. The little guy's immune to everything. He's a god. Right, we're going to go back on land. I think what I should do then, because there's nothing around the shallows, apart from the stuff we've already seen. I mean, that group of fish is a very, very cool addition. And there's just generally more life in the ocean now, which is really nice to see. But I think in order to see stuff like the whale shark and maybe the goblin shark, we have to go a little bit deeper. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to jump in the life raft, and we're going to go to the deep parts of the ocean. What is that? Okay, so this is clearly one of the new shipwrecks that they've added. I just don't know which one. Which were the actual options for them? We've got the brand new yacht shipwreck, the Polynesian, there's a plane shipwreck, a tanker, and then there's survivor shelters. Could this one be like a Polynesian shipwreck or something? Here we go.
there we go we're now back on land so i think guys this is where i'm going to end things it's actually been really nice being back in stranded deep again we got to see some new cool additions to the game but let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys want to see more of stranded deep the best way to let me know just leave a like on the video and i'll definitely bring more to it who knows maybe we'll fire up a series again and we'll try and survive with all these new changes but for now we are going to end so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your support and i'll see you all in the next one.